places to visit are Tanzania's Serengeti National Park for zebra and wildebeest migration, Kenya's Masai Mara National Park for lion, leopards, and cheetahs, South Africa's Kruger National Park for birds and a variety of other species, Botswana's Salinda Reserve for high concentration of wildlife, and Zambia's South Luangwa National Park for leopards. Plants are really amazing. Wait, we're starting a plant section? Okay, wait a moment. Okay, I'm ready. Hi, I'm your botanist, and I'll be talking about the savanna plants today. You know, when you think about the savanna, you probably think of an open field of grass with a few trees. And this sounds boring, but I'm gonna change that perception. This, the but savanna actually has a variety of interesting plant species that are unique to the biome. Let's start with the baobab tree. This tree is characteristic to the savanna. It is leafless, but it is truly special in its own way. Just look at those amazing branch patterns. Next, we have elephant grass. They grow in dense clumps and can reach up to 10 feet tall. As you should probably know from our zoologist, the savanna houses termites. Jackalberry trees grow on top of termite mounds and can reach heights of up to 80 feet tall. Last, we have the umbrella-shaped acacia tree. This commonly known tree is only reached by the giraffes. You know what makes these plants even more interesting? Adaptations. Deep-reaching roots becoming temporarily dormant and storing water in bulbs or corn help some plants survive dry spells. A thick covering, spine, chemicals, and even aggressive ants can deter savanna herbivores. Hello! Welcome to the savanna. Savanna is home to many different kinds of animals like herbivores, carnivores, decomposers, like many animals. We have lions, zebras, monkeys, even though some monkeys are actually found in the tropical rainforest, there's a lot of buffaloes, insects, and many other animals. Oh look! A wild monkey in the savanna. Savanna is actually known for many type of reasons. It's very dry and it's home to many individual animals. It's also home to the most diverse variety of hoofed mammals. So we're gonna approach this monkey very slowly because monkeys are known to rip off many of your limbs like your arms and legs. Oh no! Um, back to the weather. I'm going to tell you about the weather. So, in the dry winter season of the savanna, you can expect temperature to be around 20 to 25 degrees Celsius, which isn't too hot or too cold because the savanna is a tropical climate. You can also expect the animals to come out to, during the season, which makes it the perfect time to visit the savanna. However, if you're going to visit during the wetter summer season, expect the temperatures to be around 25 to 30 degrees Celsius. Since it is the wet season, you can expect annual precipitation levels to be around 100 to 150 centimeters. This is also when the plants are going to be alive, but really, who cares about the plants anyway? Never approach a monkey by yourself. I should have shown you the cuter animals that we have here in the savanna. Cute animal in the savanna is the giraffe. The giraffe has adapted to its environment by providing itself with a long neck to reach leaves. Another animal found in the savanna is the elephant. The elephant's adaptations include its tusk, which helps it dig and do other activities, its trunk, which helps it reach items just as leaves to eat, and the fact that it does not have sweat glands. The elephant uses its trunk and other things to help it cool down itself, like dirt. The elephant grows large, and as you Americans would say, it's thick.